Your autopilot chlorine cell should be inspected regularly for scale buildup. Allowing a heavy buildup to accumulate will damage the cell and shorten its life. Turn off the pump and remove the cell. You can leave the cell cord connected. The unions should be hand tight. If you can't get them off, an oil filter wrench works perfectly. If there is no visible scale, or if there's just a tiny bit on the ends of the blades, there's no need to clean the cell. The unit's self-cleaning feature will take care of it. If the cell does need to be cleaned, remove the cell cord. Never touch the cell blades with anything harder than your fingernail. No screwdrivers, wood, sticks, or hacksaw blades. Scraping the cell blades will damage the coating and ruin the cell. The recommended method to clean your cell is to use the Autopilot Cell Cleaning Kit, specifically designed to allow the cell to stand up while cleaning. Or you can just use a standard one and a half inch clean out plug available at your local hardware store. Be sure to wrap the threads with Teflon tape to prevent acid from dripping on your deck or ruining your clothes. To clean the cell, use muriatic acid. Some stores sell no fume sulfuric acid for pools, but it's not effective for cell cleaning. Use one part of muriatic acid to four parts of water. Always pour the acid into the water, not the other way around. It can be very dangerous. You can mix the water and acid in a bucket, but an easier way is to add water to your cell so it's two inches below the top of the blades. Then add acid to the top. This gives you the same four to one ratio. For heavy buildup, let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Repeat the process if necessary. When the cell is clean, rinse with fresh water. Before reinstalling, make sure to dry up the electric poles and to wash off the union surface and threads. Dirt and debris are usually what makes the unions hard to tighten and can cause water leaks. Hand tighten the unions, restart the pump, check for leaks, and you're good to go.